Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Today, we're continuing in Glitzville. We're working our way up the Glitz Pit, trying to become number one so we can get the Crystal Star on the Champion's Belt. So we have a long ways to go, so we better get started. Hey, you. Oh, wait, I've already tattled on him. Whoops. That's Master Crash, the bomb. He gives really good advice most of the time. Isn't it, like, so totally nice to have a mentor who cares about you? Yeah, that is nice. That's Clefter. He might sound a bit gruff, but I think he's actually nicer than he sounds, you know? Maybe he's just a little shy. And Bandy Andy's not here. Let's reserve a match. Well, boy howdy, Gonzalez! Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 17 in the Glitz Pit, the Poke Triplets! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with who brought you. A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your pard. Well, if since we have already tattled on pokies before, we're getting out coops. Also, if you stand in front of the door. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Hello, Pokies. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Spiked Terror Triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets! I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't change partners. I still have Zap Tap. This is great. Well, this will be an easy battle. Okay, well, that could change a thing or two. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, take that. Did not expect fog in the battle. That's gonna make things annoying. Aw, oh, man. Well, he killed himself because of my Zap Tap badge. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario! Wow! Be prepared for a lot of that. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Four coins, and we got went up to rank 817. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? You just finished beating down some poor fools, or what? You looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you! How many times do I have to tell you, that room is absolutely off-limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the Glitz Pit, understood? Again, dude? Man, you just got a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Ah, oh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why do you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You got a little fiend for her? Shut up, Kay. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Alrighty, your next opponent will be... Ranked 16 in the Glitz Pit, the Dead Bones! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy, you catch my drift? Give them a good show! Now get in there and blow the roof off, son! That can be a tricky, uh, thing to do, because you don't get the star power from the bed. Alright, hey, dude, thanks. We're fighting dull bones? Really? How are these guys harder than pokies? For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Bone Banglin Rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Dead Bones. 
Um, okay, we can do this. We're gonna take the skin off of your bones! Get yourselves ready to BATTLE! Use at least one special move. Well, we're using Earth Tremor, because that'll just insta-end the battle. And plus, I need to get better with it. Well, that was bad. But we kill him anyways. Doing we get basically no star points for that. No. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario? Wow! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. And we get five coins for that one. Sweet. Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you a lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Bzow! Ah, hurts! Keep quiet. My foot! Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ouch! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy! Out of the way up there! Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. <laughs> and that's basically your don't try this at home, kids. Fain for the blitz pit. <laughs> well, boy, howdy there! Uh, let's see, your next opponent will be rank 15, the Spike Storm! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them free their special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice Vaughn battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go with grandstanding. Okay. Let's get Goombella back in there. I can't remember if I tattled on the spiny. I think I did. Hapok! Man, these matches take almost no time to, like, uh, wait for. This is great. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Spike Storm. We aren't going to lose to scrubs like you. We're going to Spike Bomb you into submission, punks. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't use special moves. That's okay. <laughs> nice. Ouch. That's not nice. <laughs> Quake Hammer's so good. That's not as nice. Get out of here, man. Do -do 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 we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight money. Five coins. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside's getting a new menu item. Yeah, sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snack out on one. Well, I'm not personally, in real life, I'm not a fan of eggs or hot dogs, but in this, I'll make an exception. Hey, Bandy Andy. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These fiends fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's see, which one do you want to hear about? 
the sealed wall. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. Oh, that's morbid. Uh, the man-eating toilet? They say in one of the arena's bathrooms a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. That's weird. And that can't be real. The stairs of mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. Well, that... This is getting creepy already. The haunted boudoir. Or boudoir. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in that room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. I'm noticing a theme in these uh, seven wonders. Spooky ring lights. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. Of, oh, so you know this must be accurate. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the rain doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. Ooh. The missing ones. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Okay, yeah, these are getting really creepy. Grubba and Jolene. Grubba's a strange one. His body's incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone staked out her bathroom? Good point. <laughs> yeah, that's really creepy. What's going on here? Hi, Gonzalez. How are you? After my son saw you fight, he's become a big fan. Looks like our trip here wasn't a complete loss after all, huh? Thanks, Gonzalez. Aw, no problem. Hey, little guy. Hey, it's the Great Mustache. You're a famous fighter, huh? Are you and Prince Mush pals? Whoa, hi. Oh, it's it's Rock Hawk. That's why this crowd's here. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. <laughs> huh? The Great Gonzalez? You're a minor leaguer and your nickname is Great? Ha! <laughs> Ooh, that was rude. Come on, swarm over me! Me! This guy's a jerk. Don't swarm him. Ah, the champ, Rockhawk. He sure has star quality you'd expect from a champ. But know what? Who cares? Everyone knows we're going to be the next champions. <laughs> Everyone stopped cheering just to hear her tattle. That was great. Get out of here, idiots! <laughs> Alright, come on. Break it up. Break it up. <laughs> Stop touching. Stop crowding. Rockhawk doesn't want to see any of you. Get out of here. <laughs> Mario's such a jerk. He's destroying all of the, his fans. Mario can't stand people worshipping someone else besides him. Well, not worshipping, but fanboying, I guess. I almost forgot about this. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh, you're not a screaming fan. You're just regular. Get out of here. Hey, you! That ain't cool! Don't beat on my fans just because you ain't got none! Yeah, I'm totally on Rockhawk's side there, Mario. That was a jerk thing to do. And it clearly wasn't me who did that. No! Bad! So very bad! Behave yourself, Egg! No! Bad! Come back! Help! My imported egg escaped! Somebody catch it! Hey, Egg. Uh... You know, you should have had a mystic egg for your hot dogs, not this egg. It, w it moves in a pattern, so... In hindsight, it, 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 think about it, it should be easy to get. Oh, come on!
Okay, I hit it. I've hit it several times. Doggone it. There we go, at last. Most awfully bad! Come down from there, bad egg! How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? You, don't just stand there with your mustache! Find a way to get up there! I mean, I have no problem with people using eggs for their cooking, but... At that point, the egg's probably about to hatch. So, that's not cool. You gotta use unfertilized eggs, you know? Hello, Mr. Egg. Gosh, what a colorful egg! Must be a good one, huh? I mean, look at it jump! But jeepers creepers, I sure wouldn't want to try to eat it! I mean, ew! I don't eat moving fiends. Let's hurry up, grab it, and give it back to Mr. Hoggle. Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You want us to help you, little Mr. Eggy Waggy? It's so adorable! What should we do, Mario? Let there be hot dogs! Come on, Mario! That's just tasteless. Seriously, don't scare the little guy. Try not to be so childish, will you? There's no choice here. We'll let him go. Is that okay with you too, Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy? Ah, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyways. Awesome! Did you hear that, little Eggy Weggy? You're free! See you around! Huh? What is it now, Eggy? You want to follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let him? No, jumping eggs bug me. Seriously, Mario, I wonder about you sometimes. We're taking him, and that's that. You hear that, little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, though, okay? <laughs> so now we have the egg following us around. Ooh, email! Mario loves email! From, oh, it's the RDM issue number two. RDM issue two. Rogue port today. Old tone settles in. It's come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth, age 60, has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, age 55. The notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending a little time with my little total toes? Oh, ooh, wow, okay. The possibility such a comment opens our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Shop reporter go! Our focus of attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is, money and girls are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands the way the, why his shop isn't busier, too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for the RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. Ooh, interesting. Cooking for rookies. Today's yummy recipe, spicy soup. Steep fire flour in hot water and presto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. Editor's note, we've been working on all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, new, uh, hot news in issue free coming soon. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. Thank you. That was lovely. I do like the RDM issues. One day, you'll be asking me questions, Mr. Pineapple Reporter. <laughs> the egg is stuck. Oh wait, no, I never run to get phase through walls. We're good. We're gonna need that egg later on in the world. In the meantime, let's reserve a match. Alright, next opponent is number 14, the Handed Overs. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with who brought ya, you know? Yes, okay. I'm gonna sleep first. <laughs> I go to sleep, I wake up to... Oh, uh, Gonzalez, your flight finished a long time ago. <laughs> you were sleeping, we didn't want to wake you. Alright, this is the first tricky battle in the Glitz Pit. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Grim Death Burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Handed Overs. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. <laughs> We're awfully quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. 
Get yourselves ready to battle! Oh boy. Don't change partners. Alright, I'm gonna start by using Clock Out, I think. Because I don't like how the bandits can steal stuff from you. Okay, good. That's sweet. Alright. Tattooing on the big bandit. These guys are worse. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. Max HP is 8, attack is free, and defense is 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak! If you guard well when he charges you, then he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run! Well, that's not good. Alright, um... Well, I really, really don't want those big bandits getting after us. We'll do an upper quake hammer. Oh no! Those are the ice jets. Oh great! Oh, Zap Tap is gonna save me! They don't think they can steal anything if you have Zap Tap. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Get out of here, Bandy Andy. Only one star. I know I'm over leveled, but still. We've got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight money. Now we have six coins and we go up to 14. Hey, you hear the latest G-Dog? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice bus shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Wow. Check her out for me, man. Well, boy howdy, Gonzalez! Let's see, your next opponent is rating 13 in the Glitz Pit, the Mind Bogglers! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late! Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick! That's my favorite of the Grubble lines. I got a date with a hot chickadee. <laughs> He's actually dating a bird right now. Mind bogglers, huh? Yep, all guys from the boggly woods. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Gray Entranglers. The Gray Entranglers, yes. The Gray Entanglers, yep, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get yourselves ready to battle! Beat your opponent in five turns or less. Okay. As Jack Stone would say, can do, will do, done. Okay, good. I really didn't want him to use the mini Mr. Mini. Ouch. That was rude. Alright, that was less than five turns, Mr. Grubba. <laughs> I hope your date goes well. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! What did you expect? We rock! It's true. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We received six coins, and Mario's ranking rose to 13. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig. After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, double G-dog. 
Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. How could I forget the King K? He's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the juice bar. <laughs> they said we should, so, I mean... Might as well. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> oh, hey girls! What are you doing here? We're the rough and tumble, battling and traveling sisters free. Boy, those major league end matches just get us so energized. Our knuckles get white, our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow. Sounds lovely. Oh, is that an in coupon back there? That is an in coupon back there. Oh no, not this hippo guy, hippo dog. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Mustache. I wonder what flowers that beautiful Mademoiselle likes. She is like a ravishing but forny red rose, on oui, we she is forny. Uh I think she doesn't like players. Prince Mush, the first glitz pit champion, the fighter long since lost. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Hey there and welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. This will sound crazy, but I really wouldn't mind being the strongest guy alive. I mean, sure, every guy dreams that once in a while, but the thing is, I once... No, wait. Never mind. Good luck out there. You can't leave me hanging now! Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. All right. Next opponent will be ranked 12 in the Glitz Pit, the Punk Rocks. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them, their flower points. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see how you do without any of them fancy pants moves. Now get in there and show me something, son. Well, this is going to be hard. Actually, wait, can I, is this even possible? Yeah, it's possible, but it's going to be really hard. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Green Torture Squad. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Punk Rocks. We aren't going to lose to scrubs like you. This no take long, this end in pain for mustache. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't use your FP. Well, alright then. We've seen the uh, spiked versions of these guys in the pit. That's a hyper bald cleft. Like clefts and bald clefts, this is also a rock monster. Max HP is free, attack is 2, and defense is 2. This hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. What items do I have? Got two thunderbolts, but that's not enough. Well, he didn't say anything about not using special moves, so... by hyperbald clefts. It was either that or let them just attack me when I had the zap tat badge three times a piece. But they charge up, so that would be a bad idea. 
We've got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. See? No biggie. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received seven coins. Mario's ranking rose to 12. Boy, howdy, Gonzalez. All right, your next opponent will be ranked 11 in the Glitz Pit, the bob -omb Squad. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with Hubrunya, all right? <laughs> Wow, he's picking that one a lot. I'm just glad we haven't seen any of like the don't attack for five turns. That would be those are terrible. All right, dude. <laughs> for our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and. The Big Bomb Boomers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the bomb, bomb Squad. Um, okay, we can do this. Here we go, Gonzalez. Bomb. I have advice. Just give up now. Bomb Bomb. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't change partners. Okay, this will be over quick. Of course! It always has fall. Oh. I have no idea what happened there. Apparently one of the bottoms blew up the fog. That worked. We got ourselves a winner! The great Gonzalez! We won? Cool! Seven coins. This is pocket change. It is quite lonely without King K around. Bomb. No lonely? Him too weak. Now him not here. Sound normal to Clefter. You are in bomb denial, Clefter. I saw you weeping in that locker. Bomb, bomb. <gasps> right this way, Sir Swoop. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log into this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. <laughs> They're giving the tutorial talk to everyone. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop! Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son! I got a treat for you! Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros! Don't you worry about them! Don't be a piece of cake! Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we wanna get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and meow! <laughs> you got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Joeen, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard! Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP to, first, to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. <laughs> if you satisfy the condition and win, you can do a battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you get up your right to rank until the 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Sir Swoop. <laughs> um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you. Yes, you. Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the rain. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. <laughs> I love how they do the tutorial attack again for him, since he's replacing King K. <laughs> and also the fact that they have a totally straight face when they're like, yes, do a triple flip and meow. Like, like it's very normal. That's funny. Woo! 
All right, I think that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Carl Flaherty. We're still in the minor league, but uh, things are going to pick up in the next episode big time. Plot-wise, battle-wise, and just everything-wise. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.